Oops, the meeting was called to order at 520. <laughs> it's now 523. Okay, I guess I'm looking at the minutes now. This is the one that talks about paying WB Mason invoices. Mm -hmm. They almost all say that. <laughs> Chapter seven applications. Motor vehicle excise warrants. Abatements. Yeah, this looks fine. Okay, move to accept minutes as uh, presented. Uh, Russ can't I second it because he wasn't here. But I can second. Can yes. I can vote. Okay, but you can vote. Yes. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. All right, new mail on invoices. There's new mail. There's new invoices. Oh, good. That's the people who bought the uh, Tynan house. It used to be Steve Worth's house out on Warren Road. That's oh, Nancy okay. Winters. Okay. All right. Yeah. Have you read these? I haven't seen that one, no. Do you want me to hold it up to the camera for you, George? <laughs> no, probably not. You, with things like this, you guys will just have to vote too. With an abstention, I guess. Well, it's just they're, they're looking at a sales verification form that a buyer filled out, so it's not nothing to vote on. Okay. Well, I'll certainly go over it with regard to our um, property description. Got recent legislation. Have you read that one? Yes. Can you explain that? Let's see, which one I... is it? Oh, yes, this is the one with regard to things like our flooding uh, in July. It's going to allow us to amortize the disaster relief uh, funds that we need to borrow over two years. And that is going to help allow the state to have time to see what they can reimburse to the towns. And enable us to uh, pay off the balance with less pain as far as the tax rates concerned. Yeah. So that is something that's come out that's in of interest to many towns. Of course, we had the rain again, what was it? Yeah. A week or 10 days ago. That didn't help any either. Yeah, it's locked right. my street out again. Yeah. Yeah. And then we got a notice of withdrawal and star. Yes. Record. Yes. They have withdrawn all of their ATB cases for towns with uh, where they were uh, working with low value. And so that is great. Uh, yeah. If the equip value is 5 million or less, they've withdrawn the, the case. Oh. So that's, that's yes. great. Um, it was a class action suit, of course, against. The entire state. But that's helpful to us small towns. Okay. Oh, notice from Tyler. Right. This is our renewal notice. I've had to write to all of our Tyler, Carter Graphic, everybody to find out what the uh, figures are going to be for fiscal 25 because it's budget season and I have to have the budget prepared and into Veronique by the 8th. Yeah, by Monday. By Monday. Yeah, I haven't, yeah. Even started, I haven't even started in the morning. So, so this was one of those. So even though we're getting rid of them. Even, we'd still have to carry them for one more year. For a year. Yeah, or at least maybe half a year. I don't know, but the cost for fiscal 25 will be $4,264.48, which is 5% more than last year. So not unexpected. But confirmed. We're not voting on that. Though. No, no, this is it's simply a notice. a notice. Yeah. 
Yeah, and it's the same thing from Cartographic, yeah. right? Informing us of our costs coming up. Okay, that's all those right. bills. Yep, yep. As far as I know, ESRI is still going to be $400 a year, as it has been for many years now. Um, They're separate because these have already been paid electronically, so there's no check being cut, and these have to have a check cut by the accountant. And I didn't want to put them on one because I didn't want a chance. Yeah, Jan likes to pay them ahead well, of time electronically when she can to get the discount. You get a 5% discount. Right, yeah. so all you of the- pay it like within yeah. five days or something. These are all W.B. Mason bills. Um, some are for the conversion. Have to make sure we get them onto the right. Oh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Laura's <laughs> already done it. What am I thinking about? I don't know, but they're Somebody. already separated out. <laughs> the first two are against the, yep. the assessor's budget, and the last mm -hmm. three are against the conversion budget. Right. Perfect. 2430 8070. Yeah, no. Yep, I'm good with all those. All right. I'll this one. Yep, then Marshall and Swift. On it. Oh, yes, you probably. Look at them, George. Yeah, those are all W.B. Mason bills for various things we've needed, like stamps uh, and folders. It's a piece of paper you're holding up. <laughs> file jackets. This other one is $525 from Cartographic for our quarterly map maintenance fee uh, that we pay quarterly rather than annually. And then the Marshall and Swift is the renewal for the um, it's $666.95 for uh, renewal, I think, of the big book or the two books. Yeah. So I would move to accept the bills and approve them, the payment of them, yes. Well, I guess I can second them, but I can't mm -hmm. sign those documents, right? Right. Well, right. there's nothing to so sign. Russ is the one who signs the cover sheet anyway. Yeah. Okay. All we, all we care about is Russ's signature on these. <laughs> All in favor? Hurt, hurt my feelings. Sorry, George. <laughs> Are you seconding? Oh, yes. Who most? Yeah. We, George yeah, did. Did. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Recent sales and new no listing. Yep. Um, New listing. Yes, that is the Wilkes house. New First on the left on Sabins Road. Okay, set up off the road. Yep. Yes. Yep. New sales. And the Potter trailer house on Pleasant Street will be coming on the market soon since Mrs. Uh -huh. Potter passed away. Sure Harold Potter. Away. As you go oh. up, Fletcher and up Pleasant, the green one on the it's left. 39 Pleasant. Yeah. <laughs> And then there's a new I, I see there was a couple from last week. One of them must be the one off the road on 116, right? Uh, 69 Ashfield? That hasn't yes, closed yet. That hasn't closed yet. But it's been off the market now for, for a, a couple weeks. of weeks, yes. Yeah. So I'd say it's under contract. Uh, it's um, the red one. First on one the on the left past the covered bridge. Right. Oh, well, it doesn't say anything about a sale pendant. I know it doesn't. Sign. It doesn't. No, but I looked at the sign today. Yeah, yeah, it's out of the advertisements. It's no longer being run. Hmm. Yeah. But I can't pull it off the board yet. I can't do anything. What would they ask nothing. For? I can go look. It's in the phone. I don't recall to tell you the truth. I just wondered if the offer was. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. All right. Just the next one. Yeah. Did you know about that one? Yes. I did because she came in ahead of time. So we talked about it. There are very for those that aren't included, new listing 133 Sabins Road. Yep. Asking price 449, current assessment 332. It's an interesting house. It's a good sized house. Almost in the entire interior is done with natural wood, which has darkened over the years, of course. 
And so if you look at the pictures online, the walls and the ceiling and the floor are all wood. That's a lot of care. Yeah, it's a lot of care. And I think it'll take a special uh, person to to, to uh, choose that or choose to do something differently. It's not what I'd call a good location either. Private, buy it. Yeah. You could always sheetrock over all that wood. You could. Yes. That's the only way you're going to brighten those rooms up. Yeah. You know where Saving Road is, George? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Just at the other end of, uh, well, sort of the middle. Pine Hill, yeah. Road. Pine Hill. That's yeah. right. Any others? Or is that the only That's one? the only new listing. That's the only new listing. Yeah. All right. Yeah. This is a separate permit. And that basically goes to the oh, Florida Hill. That shouldn't have been in there. <laughs> Lucky how us. Have, how do we have a survey for a circuit that does? I think I put it on your desk saying you did actually for the board of health. Yeah, you put it on my desk along with other things for the meeting. Yeah, they just even though I was listening, it doesn't melt together. Yeah, they? exactly. Where is this? Whose house is this? Six seventy Shelburne Falls Road. Oh, uh, my Presido. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Nice one. It's probably not new. It's just that I found it in our stuff when mm -hmm. I was going through file today. Oh, it is. It's eight twelve twenty two. Yeah. Like, oh, how any of this coming across? I guess somehow it ended up over on our desk, and I found it today. Okay. Because it looks like a survey. It does. So there's basically one sale, a bunch of transfers, and one easement. Yes. Okay. I have Is that address on Sabins Road 133. Yes, sir. 133. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was just looking it up. Good. Nothing outstanding here. Then. No, no. It was end of the year flurry to get things done, you know. I think I knew about this one. Mm -hmm. I like that someone gave themselves an easement to a property that they already own. Yeah. I felt that I found that a little odd. There's something in the planning there that yeah, you don't I, know yet. I know, but I own the property and I'm giving myself an easement. I just yeah. <laughs> found an it, easement. I, I found tell, it kind of tells you something. Yeah, I, I just I found it interesting. Something will be in the future. See, I Jana. Yes. Yeah. Grant Jana. Yeah. <laughs> and then property was transferred within the family as well. Right. And what is that doing with that little tiny sliver that messed up? I think it's not included in that, what I've yeah. seen as, as but deeds. Me what messed up? Oh, I know. She ought to come back and buy it as buy it from the realtor now. The price is lower than her bid. Is it? The price dropped to it dropped forty two thousand. It's like three eighty two now. Mm. So it's lower than what her bid was. She should come back and make an offer of like three fifty. Mm. And she could probably Well, I'm tempting to send her an email. You can let her know about it. Yeah, I'm sure she does. Okay. I'm sure she does. Because yeah, she was very enamored of the property. I know, but then very saddened. Oh, yes. By everything that she was our girlfriend. Well, she didn't have to withdraw her bid. She no. could have kept going. Um, I mean, it's sad that she did. Yeah. You know, yeah, uh, Leslie Brown said that dealing with HUD was very, very difficult for her as the representative of the sellers. She said it was just endless requirements. Yeah. Okay. Deeds and easements done. Okay. 15 permits. 15 permits. Okay. Have you looked at these? No, I haven't. I'm gonna gonna have to leave you out on these george yeah i understood what was the address on on uh, pleasant street you were referencing a little while ago the what oh the, the the um the potter home is you start up pleasant from academy hill yeah it's the green ranch on the left raised ranch it looks like is it on the corner no no go up the uh, halfway in. up the hill okay i think i see it yeah 
pale green and uh it actually started life as a trailer and has been built around oh wow with wooden you know framing and everything and more rooms added and all that okay well let's go ahead with the uh building permits i just want to take a look at the house right we'll be able to see it pretty well i think in a, within the next several weeks probably is but expecting it to go on the market I'll replace a water heater. Underground tank to a line to a generator. No service. Okay. Oh, yeah. No service for an apartment. This is what I would say. Yeah. Yes. I guess they're changing the upstairs back into an apartment. Single family or double family changed into a single, now going back to a two. Yes, that's what it sounds like. Oh, this is out on North Poland Road. You got a number? Uh, it's 800, 801. 801. Yep. Main that's, Poland Road? Yeah, uh, no, North Poland. North Poland. Yeah, it was Gene Williams, and he was a disabled fellow, and he always had a caregiver. So he made sort of an apartment upstairs for the caregiver, which worked out very nicely. Um, and then the folks who bought the house after he passed away have been living in it as a single family. And now it looks like they probably are considering turning it back to a two family. Uh, just an electrical permit for their new building. 801. Yep. Got porches, blue trim on white. Yep. That's it. Cape with a door, big dormer bumping things up. Yep. Pretty view, nice spot. Look, looks all the land that it looks over is all the public. Yeah. Forest. Oh, two new mini splits in a house. LP gas. Young man. Seamus, just had to give us a. Hey, these people increase the size of their generators, so they're adding. Another propane tank for that. A wood stove. Okay. Ground line. Another underground, underground LP, LP line. line. Yeah. Just weatherization. Oh yeah, the usual weatherization and air sealing. Yeah. For a water heater. Mm -hmm. Okay. Darn, I was hoping for something big and interesting. There is nothing big and interesting. Oh, no. Lucy Anderson, a strip roof. Yeah. You know, for ice and water garden. Mm -hmm. Yep, she was telling me about that. And a line to a generator. The generator itself. Yeah, the generator itself. <laughs> Mini split. It's a 20 kilowatt generator. Good sized one. That's Funny. the one. Pretty big. Yep. And wiring. Oh, new mini splits here, too. Okay. Well, a little bit of new growth there for us. Yes, please. So next thing, chapter one. Yeah, there's two. Um, and Lee still has quite a few on her desk. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. And Lyran 61B. Gagnon. Gagnon. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Special bottle. Nope. Nope. Second. All in favor. Aye. Can I say aye? You can. Sure you can. Aye. If you if you'd like to, it's to to accept these two. Uh, yeah, chapter applications chapter for twenty five. Yeah, yeah. I have several that still need finishing notes. 
and so forth. Uh, as soon as we got the bills out, um, of course, people started coming in. So last yeah. week was devoted to folks coming in and was very busy thanks to that confusing new format. There's also um, Roxanne's forestry plan mm -hmm. that needs to be signed. Um, if, if folks are listening on your tax bill, you may, if you have more than four acres or if you have land in chapter enrollment, you'll see that there are two lines given to land value. Both will show, will list your entire acreage, but ignore that number. The top line is the value for either your first four acres or the land that's excluded from chapter enrollment. In other words, the house lot. The lower line is the value for the remaining acreage. In other words, the remaining acreage after your first four acres or your land in chapter enrollment. We've checked a number of these, the values are correct. It's just an odd uh, formatting that Dan and I didn't have a chance to see before it went out. But please, if you're concerned at all about the values or the accuracy of the data, please call or email us, uh, assessors at conwayma.gov and I'll be happy to double check it for you. Just as you should get in touch with us if you feel there's any um, need for an abatement, if there's an error in your valuation that makes it too high, um, whatever reason, please, please get in touch with us. Abatements must be filed on or before January 22nd, the same day that the bill is due. People with personal exemptions have up to April 1st to file. So should you want to file under any of the personal exemptions, veterans, low-income senior, blind, um, community preservation fund, again, get in touch with us. We'll send you the form if we haven't already and be happy to help filling it out. Should you need a little assistance? You know there's nobody there but George, right? That, I don't care if there's nobody there but George. People might listen to the recording. It's recorded. <laughs> uh, Oh, there, see, I wrote 2023. <laughs> oh, and I'm holding office hours on Tuesdays until 8 o'clock, from 4 till 8 on Tuesdays until the 23rd. Well, yeah, until the 23rd, but... On the 22nd, which is the last day to file, I'm going to be here also uh, that evening, but not on the 23rd, actually. So I'll be here on Tuesday, on, on Monday, the 22nd, the last day to file for abatement. <clears throat> if anyone would like to get in here and, you know, do it at the last minute, that's fine. Just as good as anything else. <laughs> Did we ever actually vote on these applications? I mean, we motioned yes, the second did, did, did we actually vote? Yeah. Didn't hear that part. I think we did. <laughs> I'm saying we did. Okay. I believe I'm you. not arguing. I believe you. <laughs> we need to vote on this four three or just I just signed it. No, this is a Okay, it is under 61A. Yep, plenty of acreage and it looks good. All together, uh, 17.6 between the two parcels. And of that, 11.5 is certified in the forest plan is in the plan. Yep. Mary Wigmore did this one, so. Yep. Good. Thank you. All right. Oh, I missed. We have a warrant here to re sign, uh, George. It's the one for the personal property the other day you signed it. And I missed the amount by 10 cents. Mm -hmm. I had put in $506,587.58, but it's 68 cents. So it's come back and I've corrected it. And so we need to sign it. Oh, can 
two I people. sign it? Or yes, we, the two of us are two. fine. Yeah, two of us are just fine. We need to vote on it? Or? No. This is part of our regular duties. No. Okay. Motor vehicles. No motor vehicle. Um, did I? But we have lots of property to take its place. Lots. <laughs> well, not lots, but these are. Yep. These are all abatement applications that we have gotten so far. Ah, okay. What do you, I don't know. Oh, new one I didn't know about. Well, we can. Uh, mine. <laughs> no, yeah. Uh, we start with the one I call number number one oh. here, and um, this is no, it's right there. You went right past it. Okay. Yeah, I think on this one, I'd better talk to them first. Because there's some misunderstanding between how much is in 61, how much is in 61B this year as compared to next year. It doesn't jive. Right. Is that so? We need to talk to them. Okay. So we can set that one aside. Yes, please. Yeah, because their application, their paperwork from last year clearly stated forestry. And now we're. They're not stating it. But I attached their, this was their 20, that's the 2025 application with the new forestry plan that puts it in 61B next year. That's the 2024 application where they checked off forestry, forestry. which is 61. And, you know, that stuff was the final year on the old one. So I think that it's just a matter of people aren't used to the fact that their application right. they just submitted is for a whole year away. Yes, yes. So we'll do that one. Uh, this is Mike and Janet Ryan. And they, um, Mike came in to discuss a detached structure listed on his bill, which he thought was the old shed that we had, that we had never taken off, but we had. And instead, a, a generator had been added for value of $5,800. However, he said that in spite of the permit that we saw, the generator was not installed until last month. So it was not there on 1123. And uh, there was no generator at the property prior to the one installed with the solar system in December of 23. So he'd like us to remove it for 23 or the 24 bill, I'm sorry, for the fiscal 24 bill. But it'll go on the 25 bill. It'll go on the 25, yes. And also to see if the tra tax credit can be given for any prior years. Well, I move that we uh, abate it for 24, and I will look into whether or not a credit can, can be issued. A credit for what, for the generator? Yeah, for the prior charge as a... Uh, of a detached structure. Sorry, I've been here since 9 a.m. But um, you mean the, the shed that's been right since like 2017 or something like that, but he's been billed for it every year oh, okay. since. Yeah. Why he didn't do it. He, he says he came into the office every single time and said something about it, why he didn't do an abatement application for those years is... That's a good question. We'll have to look into it, yeah. Um, and I can look into whether or not we can abate prior years based on this. They usually say the owner had every opportunity to come in, talk to you about it, you know, and, and apply for abatement. And the answer usually is yes. But uh, certainly I, I feel that he's owed an abatement for fiscal 24. One fifty eight hundred dollars of value. I so move. You're making that motion. I so move. I'll second that motion. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Thank you. Data value of fifty eight hundred. 
Okay. Now, where do we mark that down so we know it goes 125? I just have to process this with the yeah it, okay with the others. I'll fill out the abated tax and so forth later. But I wrote down abated amount fifty eight hundred. So that's what we're signing on. Sign it for you. Oh right, what I have. <clears throat> So no, we did a motion to grant it vote. Yes. How am I not catching the actual vote on these? No. I'm hearing the second, but I'm not catching the actual vote. Oh, okay. uh, <laughs> the second one is a personal property abatement yeah. uh, application from Bill Graves. Uh, he was billed again for his wood processor, which he did sell in July of 2022. And he called me at the time and told me about it. And I didn't get it off at that time. And so it stayed on. So that's the only question. <laughs> so I would move that we abate $3,810 of value. That being what he was. 3810. 3, that being the value of the wood processor. That he no longer owned. Second. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Yep. Do we have a vote? Mm -hmm. I heard the vote that time. It's because George isn't here. <laughs> I'm here. You're like a ghost. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. Horton hears a who? Well, George, I'm very appreciative. <laughs> I'm so afraid of catching something now just with just a week ago. Not that. <laughs> okay, I need to do a little bit more on that one. This is a good one. Um, this is Tony Rice and Elaine Rogers out on Shirkshire Road. And somehow or other, someone else's personal property was put onto them. And in the total amount of 15336 And they don't own two tractors, a wood splitter, or a brush hog, so on and so forth. <laughs> so I have to find out whose that is. And we'll probably rebuild it to the correct person. But in the meantime, <clears throat> we will be rebuilding them. Uh, no, their tractor was not on site 1123. So we can't do that. That'll go on 25. Uh, I'd like to move to abate them the $15,336 in value that showed up inadvertently on their bill. I have a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Okay, uh, we have one from Tori and Laurie Luce here. Uh, 149 Old Cricket Hill Road and the Explanation being that the grade and condition are not correct for their house. I had a complete inspection of their house, interior and exterior, a couple of months ago, uh, October 5th. And I would like to suggest that we as a board go to have a good look at it and uh, decide if where the merits are in this discussion. Well, it's definitely not. A low-end modular home is definitely not a grade B. <laughs> well, that's any modular home should not be a grade B. Mm, they and... come in different qualities, but at any rate. Um, so my suggestion would be that we schedule a site visit at uh, the earliest convenience of all of us. This is on record anyway, so. Right, right. Okay. Yeah. 
Uh, from yeah. my point of view, I would I would suggest we not I not participate in something in person with Lee until next week. Because, well, I don't think there's a very high yeah. probability. If there is, if I am going to catch some bug, it'd be yeah. you know, by the end of the week, I'd know. Yeah. Not like it has to be done this week. I mean, That's the next right. tax bills aren't for another two months. So, <laughs> yep. Yep. So I suggest we hold that one for a site visit. Okay. We have one from Howard and Jean Boyden with regard to the classification of the land um the sugar house property their bill changed substantially from last year to this year being about triple what it was last year and there appears to be a difference in the classification so i need to this just came in last night so i need to do some more work looking into that could we look at the year before last year to see what that one was? yeah i will yeah so i'll look at 22 23 and 24 and then we'll discuss it i think so I think I'd ask that we set it aside until we can look at all three years together. Uh, Lois Fike came in and, well, yes, but uh, in this particular case, they have two parcels, one with the house on it over on Newhall Road and a second parcel beside it, uh, going uphill from their house that has just a little shed on it. And the land area of the parcel with the little shed is 2.08 acres. And somehow it got added on to the house area of five point something and was built again at, by itself at 2.08. So she, they were double billed for that parcel of land very clearly. And so, um, I would like to ask the uh, make a motion that we reduce the value of their house lot by the um, valuation of the two point eight acres and correct the house lot bill and leave the adjacent additional land as it is because it's correct. That's my motion. Reduce the value or uh, reduce adjust adjust the value. Okay, I was going to say house lot. So you're correct. You're correcting the acreage and, on the house just, property, right? And abating what they were overbuilt. Yes, exactly. And by the amount of the by the value of the two point oh eight acres. So. <clears throat> acreage, not just okay. I have a motion. I have a second. How much are we um, 2.38. Uh, it is valued at 15.9. That, uh, that is, but I need to recalculate the main property. Oh, do we have, do you want to vote on it then? We can't. No, let's hold it until I have done right. recalculation, but we forget the second. Forget, yeah, yeah. Never mind. We can't. We're okay there. there. We'll pull that one up next week. And we have one from the Gordon Mulvey Trust out on Main Poland Road, uh, about a half mile west of North Poland Road. And it's called Thistle, Thistle Farm. Yes, very cute little place down there on the river, on the Chapel Falls River. And um, they were valued for 320900 and she's attached a formal appraisal of this property dated July 27th, 2023, because I think that was the day when the lady who uh, Dorothy made, uh, Dorothy Mulvey passed away. And this was part of her estate. And so the appraisal comes in at, there we are. there's a final figure. Three hundred and five, even as of July twenty seventh, twenty twenty three. Our valuation is three hundred twenty thousand nine hundred. 
I say it needs a site visit. We're certainly well within the 10% one way or another allowance that we're given. And there's a almost six month period there. Uh, well, however, yes, in 23, the property had had seven, almost seven months for its market value increase since January 1. And they still came in at 305. So we're at 32900. Uh, I would suggest that we request a site visit and go do a complete inspection and compare it to the appraisal and uh, see what yeah, the comps they use. I was a little startled. One of the comps that was used is. Uh, Working on the yeah. <laughs> 95 Main Street, just above the old bachelor brick house here, as you were going up to the. Okay. Uh, it's kind of a yellowish house with purpley trim. Um, on the corner facing the little little triangle common there. I certainly wouldn't say that that was a comp at all. No. That's nowhere near. No, I think anything similar. Right. Another, the other two comps, one was in Shelburne Falls, the other in Greenfield. So I think that when we see it, we're going to want to look at our Conway sales very carefully. How can you comp a house in Conway to a house in Greenfield? Well, it's tough these days to find, you know, a 173 year old house. It's still in Greenfield? But. <laughs> And I would question that the one on Main Street is 173 years old. But um, I think that our best bet is to request a, a, a site visit with a complete inspection and then review what they present have presented us. What's the street number on that house? That is number um, 1701 Main Poland Road. Really nice location, other oh. than I think it got flooded out in July. Logical that it might have been. Everything that came down the side of that road that led through the yard, as far as I know. Yeah. I don't know whether it damaged the house or the barn. But, yeah. And that was also after January 1. And that so the July, the July floods would not affect... What did you do? I have a paper clip set up like that. <laughs> the July floods would not affect the January one value, even though they were an unfortunate effect on those houses hit. So, um, so we need to make a motion or just put it in the pile for site visits. I think we put it in the pile for site visits and we'll be good. Sound good to you, George? Yep. Yep. I love site visits. Yep. Okay. All right. Where are we? Update on the program conversion? Yes. Um, we have just about all of the property record cards printed. It's three four-inch binders full of them. And we'll be sorting them out pretty soon as to street. Now that we will uh, review them against the commitment book, make sure we have every single property in there. And we'll sort by streets, which will make it easier for doing the, the data quality review. The um, I've also been working on reviewing the data in the system for accuracy. Going through the commitment book has been good for that, checking for accuracy and um, addresses and everything else before the bills were printed. The uh, I've pulled out almost all of the price tables, so we'll be able to decide which ones to use. And I've got the uh, effective age tables from Fairhaven and Marshall and Swift and a couple of other places. Uh, I've talked to Jeff at Patriot uh, for the soonest start date and anything that needs to be done uh, beforehand. And he says we're pretty well on top of it. They had had several jobs ahead of us, so they're working on them. And I'm hoping that Chris can, Chris Waldo, our selectman, can come in tomorrow to double check the tablet 
that we'd like to get because he's very knowledgeable about that and get that ordered. Yep. So everything is everything is good there, I'd say. Yep, moving along very Any nice. Questions, George? No, not not at this end. Okay. Other business? Yeah. Um, no, I just forgot what you were gonna talk about. Oh, the ad. You guys were you I asked you when the ad was oh yes, the advertisement. Oh yes. Yes, 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 for the administrative assessor. I read George's ad. I liked it very much. I thought it was exactly what we need to put out there. You're talking about the shortened version? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And uh, well, I can put more time into creating the description that we will have on the website, but. I would say it's time to put it out. It's after the first of the year. I would get it out immediately. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So moved. So moved. So moved. Well, that's second the motion. You're talking about the ad right now, right? Yes, the ad. Yeah. Yep. And we were just... going to advertise it in the recorder and in the Mass uh, Municipal Association, the Mass Assessors Association, um, indeed.com. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, okay, we'll get it out as soon as possible. And thank you again, George. No problem. Taking that on and writing the consolidated report of uh, description and the ad. Yeah. The job description should be good to go. I don't. Yes. Sort of lost track. It's been a little while, but I think right. I gave you guys copies, and I think I sent one to Veronique. Um, yeah. So all you really need to do is put it someplace on the website where ad. Respond. There's a there is an employment there's an employment location oh for the job description yes yeah there I mean there we're also going to post it on the town website under the employment opportunities yes. too right yes yep and that's probably where the job description should link to yes yeah yep. what else what else. I have ordered all those books. That, oh, that wonderful. Thank you. In about two weeks. Good. Our hotline and so on and so forth. Yes. Uh, tractor valuation books, antique equipment valuations, all that. That's good. We need that for those for the conversion. Um, if this weather holds at all, we ought to be able to get out the first of the week, maybe. Uh, George, might you be available to start? I'm checking. Um, like as in Monday and Tuesday. Yes. Um, I well, assuming I don't get sick, which I hardly doubt. Right. Right. I've got a date Monday between ten and twelve, and at and at seven p.m. Uh huh. Um, oh. on Tuesday I've got a six p.m. Right. Well, possibly other, on, possibly Monday for, afternoon. On Tuesday. On Monday afternoon. Monday, Maybe. yeah, after 12. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Monday afternoon's clear all day. Tuesday's clear. Wednesday and Thursday are clear. Good, good. We can do all the exempts first since I won't have time to write to anyone. Uh, you know, no, 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 I didn't, no, notify them that we're coming, but we can do all of the town owned buildings. We have to do them anyway. So we might as well start with them. And then uh, by then I'll have the all of the property record cards sorted by road. And we'll decide where we want to start and start getting out postcards. Well, do we need to look at <clears throat> these abatements first? Yes. It'd be best if we can. Well, right now there's only two site visits right. that need to be scheduled. Two or three. Two. It was me and um, Mulvies. Mulvies. Yep. I'll but see if we the other ones need other research. Right. Done before. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. There's lots of others, but uh, Monday be great. A few other stuff. Do you think late Monday afternoon you might be available? Uh, yeah. I'd look. I think so. I'll, yeah. I'll look and see. I okay. Think. Would that be convenient for you? Why late you Monday asking, afternoon. Why are you asking me? 
I can't do something. Do that. Oh, to my house. Yes. <laughs> well, we expect light refreshments, and <laughs> I'll be working. Remember? I know that's right. She will. I will be working, so <laughs> I will. I will check with Troy tonight. Okay. On his schedule to make sure he's going to be around. Right. It would be the latter part of the afternoon. Now I know what I'll be call. doing all weekend. <laughs> And I'll call them over call me first house. thing in the morning. Cleaning your house? Cleaning my house. Why worry about it? Because you have two dogs, two cats. Three cats. Three cats, two dogs. I shouldn't worry about it. Yeah, well, you know me better than me. Right. You. Also, before long, we'll we should do our three houses are, you know, yeah. They should be at the front of the list too. But um okay, I'll call them all these tomorrow morning. Or tonight. Is there is there anybody living there? No, no, no. I didn't think so. I don't know if they close it no, up in the winter. Yeah. I think last I knew they used to close yes. it up in the winter. But... Yes. <clears throat> and I'll find out know. from her. Yeah. There's got to be somebody who's got a key to get. Oh in yes. Case there's an emergency. Oh, yeah. So yeah. right. Yep. So from what I'm hearing, I probably should pencil in time Monday afternoon, mm -hmm. especially late in the afternoon. Do not bring uh, COVID into my well, house. Well, let's think about one o'clock. Let's think about one o'clock because we can still get several of the uh, town-owned properties done before we go to them if necessary. And Russ can okay. join us a little bit later or whatever his schedule allows. All right. I'll 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 write 1 p.m. down. That'll give me an hour to yeah. clear my appointment and uh, eat something. Right. Because by four, it's, it's pretty dark four, out. 30, it's pretty dark. Yeah. So we'd want to be done before then. Okay, I'm good. Okay. Anything else? I don't believe I have anything else. Lori? No, sir. Oh, oh here again, if, if anyone tunes in later on. Is there anyone, is there anybody? Nope, not right now. The new commitment mm -hmm. is here in the binder. Uh, it is public record. It is the list of every taxed property in town, how much their valuation is, and how much their tax is. Uh, and anyone is welcome to come in or during our posted office hours and sit down and take a look at it, make notes, whatever. Um, there are no secrets as to what valuations are and that kind of thing. So let you know about that. It's during your hours. Well, I'd say during Lori's because hers are longer. <laughs> but I was fired from the assessor. So. <laughs> Wasn't can, I, George? You can let somebody mm -hmm. look at the book. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. All right. Anything else? I have nothing. Nothing from me. Motion, motion, motion okay. to adjourn. Uh, I'll so move to adjourn. Okay. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Aye. Um, thanks for the uh, Zoom link. Well, thanks for coming. When's our, our next, not the site, oh. our next meeting? Next meeting is January 17th. I expect to be able to come. Right. When is it? January 17th. 17th. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Good night.